Okay, this video we're gonna show you how to do a snap-on smile. So click a tooth um, that has a natural tooth in place, and then you're gonna hit mock-up, click on 3D print, and then hit okay. And then holding down the control button, you can select the other teeth that have natural teeth in place. And then on your pontic teeth, you're gonna hit anatomic pontic, and then hit okay. And if you hold down shift, and you click to the uh, opposite end of the edentula segment, it'll select everything in between. Uh, we're gonna click on these green dots to turn off the connectors for the anatomic pontics because um, we'll have the soft tissue there um, that'll link everything together. And then hit design. Go ahead and load in your scans. So upper scan, lower scan. We'll adjust the scan so we're looking down the occlusal surface. You're going to skip the smile creator and then we're going to choose the path of insertion of our snap-on smile. We can hit set direction from view and apply. So this cast will block out any undercuts that we may have here. So if you draw a section here you can see the undercuts blocked out and it puts a automatic uh, spacer here uh, between the tooth um, and the virtual wax up layer. So we'll hit OK. And then from here we can set our tooth placement. So we want to hit on the distal contact of 3 and then distal contact of 14 and then that'll set our uh, teeth here. We can change to whatever tooth form that you want in the library and then we'll hit next. And this will jump into the tooth placement uh, tab here and in the chain mode you can quickly uh, move all the teeth in a segment here and then we can look from different views to put the teeth a little closer to where they should be here. So you can do the major movements here um, by using this chain tool. There'll be other features a little bit later on that will fine tune it, but let's uh, get into the ballpark here. So we want the molars overlying the natural teeth. You can uh, turn down the transparency here if you want to see the underlying tooth structure, or you can kind of look from the bottom here to make sure that the teeth are kind of lined up uh, where you want them to be. So. Let's move the incisal edge so they can come into a bit of contact so you can see the occluding marks uh, where the teeth are. And then once you got eight and nine, more or less where you want them, you can lock that into place. And then you can kind of do some fine tuning movements of the other segments that surround it. So in this case here, we're, I wanna move the canine so it's a little bit closer to where it should be. So from three to six, that looks relatively okay. So we'll lock that in place. And then we're gonna move this segment kind of back to the arch form. Okay, so that gets us pretty close, but not all the way there. And then from here, we can jump into the advanced tool and then um, start to scale our teeth in the right position. So uh, same thing, you can move it here just by clicking and dragging. Uh, control will rotate and then control shift together I like because that scales it in the direction that the arrow is pointing so these teeth that are overlying the natural teeth need to be um, much wider than normal to fit over the top like a snap-on smile so couple things you can do is you can turn uh, and change the transparency to make sure that the teeth are kind of in the right orientation or you can do the cut view so for example here I want the wax up cuss tip to line up a little bit better over the cuss tip of the natural tooth so I'm going to use this cut view to help me visualize that so that's in line here um, and then I can go back and then rescale these to the proper occlusal contacts too. 
So A is a shortcut to turn on and off your uh, opposing or antagonist view. So I want to see that I have some contact so that the patient has some occlusion there. So that looks okay. This one is obviously a little bit too heavy, so we're going to adjust for that. And then this tooth is just overlying, just kind of a stub here, so we'll make sure that it fits right over that tooth there. Okay, so I'll quickly go through and kind of make uh, more adjustments just by using uh, these simple tools here um, by clicking and rotating and dragging here. Okay, so this looks like a pretty decent setup. Uh, we're not going to have any occlusion on this left side because the uh, teeth aren't uh, erupted yet. Um, so we'll go ahead and hit next. And then we're going to be in the freeforming tab here. Um, and from here we can make some more edits. So I like to use the uh, add remove to uh, fine-tune the occlusion here. So if you hold down the shift button, that removes um, some of the wax material. So you can do that, or you can click on anatomic and then take individual cusp tips and then move those around or tooth parts or ridges. So these are some of the tools available. And then you can also use the um, smooth tool to start to smooth things out. So that gets us pretty close. If there's any perforations here, like this area is too thin, we can add uh, to those areas where you can grab a cuss tip and then raise some of these areas. So that looks okay. And once we get pretty close, what we can do is um, go into the uh, adapt feature. And then under adapt, you can adapt the uh, static occlusion. So it's, it'll make a direct cut um, to the opposing tooth here. Okay, so sometimes it leaves these little divots. Um, so you can go back and then smooth those out so those look a little bit better. quickly remove and then smooth once again okay so those look okay and then the other thing we want to make sure of too is that um, our teeth um, are contacting here so some of these we can afford to kind of move out just a little bit and kind of widen Okay, so we'll go ahead and finish our adaptation. So a proximal is to get the interproximal contacts um, squared away. And then the last part is um, cutting it to our jaw scan. Um, so if you can see, there's the underlying tooth structure underneath. And then when we hit uh, adapt uh, to jaw scan, it's gonna cut that out and then have the occlusal surface um, dictate our Integral surface of our snap on smile. So here you can, you can see it's going to fit right over um, the biting surfaces of our teeth. Okay. Okay, so that looks good. We can hit next. And then this is going to add our connectors. So um, what we can do is select different shapes of our connectors. And then for these anterior teeth, it's kind of nice to set these a little bit more lingual so it's a little bit more hidden here 
um, and then we can click and drag and if they're yellow that means we got adequate thickness um, between the teeth here okay so that looks okay we'll hit yes okay so now that the connectors are added what we can do is add our soft tissue so we can go to expert mode here we're going to um, go to the bottom and then we're going to click on uh, gingiva base design and then we're going to select uh, gingiva for all uh, adjacent teeth and then from here we can uh, click onto the areas that we want the soft tissue so on the lingual we can have it come onto the palate a bit so we get a little bit of support from the palate and then from here we want to add some soft tissue for aesthetics here so you can kind of follow where the next of the tooth teeth are and then draw your line kind of over the top here and then we'll be able to do a little festooning of that area at the next step here so double click to close that loop and then it's going to add our soft tissue here so the soft tissue will link all of these um, individual pontics together because we don't have um, the connectors between them so let's go to the bottom we can go to freeform gingival design and then you can do large regions to manipulate the tissue like this or you can do smaller regions and then you can get to the interproximal papilla here to kind of fine-tune that so you can kind of even out the gingival margins if you want So we'll go ahead and fill the papilla. We'll check from the back side here. And that looks pretty good. And then same thing, you have these free tools to be able to smooth or flatten. If you want, you can um, Add and remove, do this pen feature. If you hold down uh, shift, you can remove wax here, and then you can do like gingival rolls and kind of festoon it a little bit more detailed. So feel free to do that if you want to get creative with that. Otherwise, this forms our soft tissue, and the only thing that we have to do is get this um, to adapt to the uh, tissue surface here. So we can hit the generate virtual uh, wax up scan and then we'll hit OK. OK, so that looks good. Now everything is merged together in one piece and then we have the um, teeth um, cut out so that this snap on smile can fit onto the um, remaining natural teeth and also onto the uh, soft tissue here. Uh, so moving here, we can hit OK. And then um, we can get back to the wizard here and then finish our final chance to do any free forming uh, or smoothing if there's anything else you want to adjust. Um, if not, we can hit next. And then we're done. So you can hit next, um, and then this will export out uh, the STL file uh, into the um, folder. So we'll open that up, and then you can see this is the STL file that's generated. This can be milled or printed out um, as a snap on smile. Okay, so that concludes this tutorial.